look, we're kind of just – I'm kind of just focusing on the head coach right now because, I mean, I've blasted Howie a bunch of times for a bunch of years and a bunch of months and a bunch of shows, and I don't think he should have anything to do with player personnel, drafting players. He's going to be picking the next coach. Do you want him picking the next coach? Well, Jeffrey Lurie said at his press conference today that he is the head of the search committee. Oh my god! And it stops Wait, with him. But Jeff, he hired Jeffrey Doug. Lurie. He hired Chip. Like he he's been involved. Jeffrey Lurie in the is going to be the one that, that that hires the coach. Not, he's not been the, he, he's he's been involved in every. Uh, he let Andy go. He uh he was instrumental in bringing, uh Chip in. He was instrumental in letting Chip go after he'd seen enough, and he was instrumental in bringing Doug Peterson. So J- Jeffrey Lurie is going to be hands on in this coaching staff, coaching search, thousand percent. When you have a coach, the, the problem is when you have an owner picking the general manager, you have the Dallas Cowboys all over again. General Why manager, shouldn't Jeffrey Lurie? Why shouldn't manager. Jeffrey Lurie pick the coach? Who should pick the coach? The general manager. That's how most normal teams do it. They have the general man, the owner. It, it, you get that. What do you think? Daniel Snyder kept doing that, okay? And he got lucky this time because he had Ron Rivera. But you know what? Co- owners should let the football guys make the football decision. How he's not a football guy, huh? Well, Jeffrey you, Lurie you knows how he's not a football guy. Well, then you got to get. Then you got to get yourself. Then he needs to go to 